Now let's talk about a very key component in understanding a Bollinger trading system, and that is your stops. It is essential that you learn to trade with stops and you make sure you use them. So here's what you need to understand. As with all systems, setting stops is a must. It is a non-negotiable. Uh, the stop is here to help protect your capital. Not all trades are going to do what you want them to do. In fact, the majority of trades sometimes will not do what you want them to do. So you've got to learn to trust your stops, to put them in the right place, and be content when you get stopped out. You know, a lot of times people don't want to use stops because they feel like it's taking money away from them. You know, by nature, it's stop loss. It's a, lo it's, it's a stopping out of the loss of your capital. But what they fail to see is how much more they would have lost if they left the trade going. Now, sometimes, you know, one of the frustrations is, well, I got stopped out, and then the trade did exactly what I thought it should have done. And so people start to buy into that story. Well, if I hadn't stopped out, I would have made all this money. That is a really bad trading psychology. You've got to learn how to trust your stops, to set your stops, use them, and uh, just get yourself a good stop system so that you can protect your capital. Uh, you can choose any system you like. It really doesn't matter what stop system you use, but not using a stop system is simply not an option. It's a non-negotiable. You've got to use one. So let's talk about some popular techniques here. Uh, one popular technique, especially with the Bollinger Band system, is to use a parabolic stop, parabolic SAR. Uh, the moving average system is a popular system. A trailing stop is a popular system. I, I'm not a huge fan of it, but it is a popular system. And then a system known as stair stops is another uh, decently popular system uh, that was kind of popularized back in the 1930s. Uh, with the Bollinger Bands, uh, the, the system I really like with the band trading system itself is parabolic. So I'm going to talk about that here in just a second. Uh, I prefer the parabolic or I prefer a moving average system. Now, whenever I'm not using Bollinger Bands as a system itself for trading, if I'm not using that system, I will lean towards a moving average system for my uh, my setting of stops. But inside the Bollinger system, a parabolic type system is really the ideal way, in my opinion, to set the stops. It's very mechanical. It does the math for you. It tells you where to set the stop. And uh, it, it leaves a lot of the questions um, you know, out. So you're not, you're not having to second guess. So let me show you how the parabolic system works. Uh, for those of you who may not be familiar with the parabolic stop system, Parabolic SAR, S-A-R, stands for Stop and Reverse. It's an acronym, Parabolic SAR. It was created by a guy named J. Wells Wilder here. And uh, this was his book that he created, or he wrote, I should say, in the 1970s, where he revealed his research uh, for the parabolic. Uh, what you need to do, this is really simple. I'm not going to go through the details of how you calculate a parabolic. Here's what you need to understand. You simply apply the parabolic SAR to your chart, and then wherever it tells you to set your stop, that's where you set your stop. You don't need a buffer. You don't need any additional components. You just simply say, here's the parabolic. That's the, where the dot says to set my stop. I'm going to set my stop there. So let's take a look at how this works. Notice the parabolic is always on the opposite side of the trade. So let's just take this chunk right here. And let's say that you had jumped into a bullish trade. Doesn't matter when you got in, but the point is you're in a bullish trade. Each of these little dots, that's where your stop should be. It's always going to be below. If it's a bullish trade, it'll be below your trade. And every day as the trade moves forward, you keep moving your stop higher and higher. And then there's going to come a day where you stop out, as we did here. Now, immediately, this one flipped back and, and continued the bullish trade. So your stop keeps staying in here, and you just jump back in. You keep trading it, and you just keep following the parabolic. And you're in this trade all the way through here until right here where it stops you out. And so this is a very, very good system, especially when you combine it with a system like the Bollinger system. Uh, in and of itself, the parabolic SAR does not, it's not a great system on its own, but when you combine it with something like what you're, you're learning here with the Bollinger Bands, it's a really, really powerful system. Then of course, for a bearish trade, it just flips over. Take a look over here on the right side. Uh, once the, the trade is confirmed bearish, for example, right here, we're pushing into that lower band. Look, the SAR, swings back to the top and it just keeps adjusting and it's going to accelerate it moves at what we call an acceleration factor and it's going to get closer and closer to the price action and eventually it will stop out but it will also give your trade plenty of room to run it's a very good trading system uh, i do not s uh, subscribe to the idea that you should put all your money into the trade and just let the parabolic get you in and out of the trade that's a horrible idea but if you use it as a place to set your stop and you'll use some of the exit techniques that we'll talk about in the next class um, this is a really, really powerful set of tools 
uh, to have a good trading system at your hand. So that's the parabolic system. Now the other system is the moving average system. This is the one that I teach very heavily in the Foundations of Stocks and Options. It's a system that outside of the bands trading system is a system I, I tend to gravitate towards uh, myself. Here's how it works. You, you basically use your moving average, give yourself a little buffer there, and you set your stop below or above the average. Within the band system, the way you apply it is you'll set the stop either over or under the middle band. That's your 20 period moving average. So if you're used to the, the moving average stop system, as I teach it in the foundations program, this will seem very natural to you. It's just that we're setting it uh, underneath the middle band or in the case of a bullish trade, over the middle band in the case of a bearish trade. Uh, now this works great in a trend. There's one challenge, sideways moves. What are you doing a sideways move? Because that, that middle band, which is a 20 period moving average, will just be moving right through the middle of the stock and you'll be getting stopped in and out all the time. Well, to compensate for that, if you're in a sideways move, you're gonna have to go to the upper band or the lower band. So you either set the stop above the, the upper band if you're in a bearish trade or below the lower band if you're in a bullish trade. It's a little more complicated. There's more to think about. That's why I personally think that inside the Bollinger system, a parabolic stop is really the ideal way to just have the computer say, this is where you should set your stop. You can kind of write the trading script, write the blueprint a lot easier that way. Uh, but the moving average system is a, a good way you can also do it. Let's take a look at this target trade here. Notice the squeeze as it's happening here. And as the squeeze breaks out, if you just start setting your stop below that 20 period, which is the middle band, you're gonna be in the majority of this trade. It's gonna capture about 90% of the trade. You finally would've stopped out right up here, just uh, you know, right in December. And that would've captured the majority of the swing right here. Uh, now, the benefit of the parabolic is you would've actually stayed in a little bit longer and probably gotten stopped out maybe a couple of weeks later. Uh, what I really would prefer, I'd really prefer once you see the exit signals that you get out on your own without waiting for the stop. But if you're waiting to get out based on a stop, this is a way you can do that. Uh, what I would prefer, as you'll learn in the next class, is I would prefer that once you see this candle formation pulling away from the band, I would much prefer that you just recognize that as the end of the swing. Uh, the, the bandwidth is contracting, you're getting a divergence, you got every other exit signal, why wait to stop out at a loss or, or at a uh, down tick? That doesn't make any sense. So when I start to see these signals, I'm out of the trade before the stop. But the stop, this is a great system for adjusting your stop just to protect your capital uh, in the event that the trade goes drastically wrong against you very quickly and you miss the signal somehow. Uh, now one of the challenges you're gonna see with the moving average system is a setup like this right here. Notice how we're, we're constantly above, above and below the middle band, mostly above it, but constantly above and below it. In a situation like this, the only place to set your stop is below the lower band. And so it really takes a massive move to stop you out. Uh, for that reason, I do not gravitate inside a band trading system to the moving average stop. Uh, otherwise, it works really well. But in this particular scenario, I would gravitate, I do gravitate towards a parabolic type of a system. It's more, more mechanical, more mathematical, and I think you'll have better results with it over time. Now, if you'd like to learn some more about uh, trading with stops, I did an entire mastery class on this. It's part of uh, memberships here at TradeSmart. You can just go into your membership area, look up the mastery series, and watch. look for the uh, class called Stop the Madness. That's the name of the class. And if you go watch that class, you can learn more about stops. You can learn more about stop systems. You'll learn more about the parabolic system. Also, I talk in there about the trailing stops and the various ways you can set those. And so that, that opens up some opportunity. But the key here is when you're trading inside the band system that you do use a stop system of some sort. I don't really care what the system is, but you've got to learn to use a stop system and be prepared to stop out at whatever that risk is that you're setting with that stop.